Okay, now that we learned all about the different biomes on Earth, let's take a closer look at forests. All forests have lots of trees, but did you know there are different types of forests? They're often described as different biomes. One of the main differences is where they are located in relation to the equator and the poles, which we'll talk about in a minute. There are three main types of forest biomes, the rainforest, the temperate forest, and the boreal forest, or also known as the taiga. Some important words to know before we move on is ecosystem. An ecosystem is a group of animals and plants that work together. So in an environment or a biome, the animals and plants that work together to make that biome successful is the ecosystem. A layer is a thickness or coating of something. The equator is an imaginary line around the middle of the earth. If you looked at our globe, going directly around the middle of the earth is just a line that shows exactly where the middle of the earth is. It is also the warmest area on earth. Emulgent is a word that means coming out into the open. Let's take a look at the different types of forests. Let's look at tropical rainforests. Rainforests um, grow where they're, where it is warm and rainy all year. Rain falls almost every day. Rainforests are ecosystems that are full of many types of animals and plants. Rainforests are found near the equator and this area is warm all year long. So it doesn't get cold winters the way that we do, or the, for example, the tundra does. Rainforests grow in Africa, Asia, Australia, and Central and South America. We will learn more about tropical rainforests at the end of our forest unit. But take a look at this map. The areas that are green are the areas where you can find rainforests today. Boreal forests are known by their six months of winter, short summers, trees with needles, and lots of snowfall. So it's very different from a tropical rainforest where it's warm and wet. They get six months of winter and not a lot of warm weather. Boreal forests are located in the northernmost areas of Earth, spreading through Canada and Russia, as you can see on this map. We won't be spending much time on boreal forests, but it's important for you to recognize the world if you come across it again. One thing to remember is their trees with needles do not lose their leaves in the winter. They do not lose their needles, and that is something that we'll learn more about in a moment. And finally, we have temperate forests. Temperate forests grow in areas where the weather changes with the season. Remember, all seasons are spring, summer, winter, fall. Temperate forests can be found in areas with warm summers and cold winters. Can you think of a place like that? That is right. We live in a temperate forest. We have very warm summers and very cold winters. Temperate forests can be found in North America, Europe, and Asia. As you can see on this map, we are located right along this green stretch. There are two types of temperate forests, deciduous and coniferous. In a deciduous forest, the trees stop growing. The leaves turn colors as they begin to die in the winter. When you think of trees changing colors and falling to the ground in autumn, you're thinking of a deciduous forest. Deciduous trees' leaves often turn brown, yellow, orange, and red in the fall. The trees drop their leaves to prepare for the cold winter when they will not be able to get the sunshine and food they need to survive. The trees drop their leaves so they will not need to feed them, saving energy. Spring brings new life to deciduous forest. As the weather becomes warmer and the sun begins to shine for longer each day, tree flowers begin to bloom and new leaves grow soaking in the sunshine as the forest turns green once again. Coniferous forests are made up of trees that have needles instead of leaves. These trees are often called evergreen trees and do not drop their needles in the winter. They have needles. Think of Christmas tree. C -c Coniferous C -c -c Christmas tree. Okay. Deciduous dyes, coniferous Christmas tree. That's how I remember it. 